This is Madagascar. I took 72 hours to get here. Four planes, a lot of cars, two hotels and a couple of boats. I'm not sure what's happening. We're in a car and I thought we were going to the camp, but we're moving. And we're moving to the water. I don't know if we're going to a boat or something. I'm really confused. Bonjour. <laughs> I'm Marcella. This is me. I love to tell stories about love. The love for the ocean, the love for the magic of seeing a place for the first time. I love to tell stories. Kitesurfing is my passion and also my bridge to make my dreams happen. I started the day walking through the mangrove with the shahed and all my gear to be able to get to the boat and go kite. the swell has not arrived and it's already time to change plans and look for possible waves for foiling. Finding waves is easier and faster than I thought. This is Philip. He's from France. He moved here 20 years ago and built this camp. He loves the ocean. He also wrote two books and knows everything about herbs and plants. And this is Dane. He's filming this project. He's from California, but I think he wants to live here. I woke up with the sound of the big waves and the excitement of the possibility of amazing conditions. But my high hopes didn't last for long. It was too big for the boats to go out safely. Looks like a different place. <laughs> Fred uh, asked to me also, big, big for the moment, no more. Not good, in, in his wave. In Not his good. wave also, yeah. We can wait and decide later. Even though all I wanted to do was chase good waves, I decided to enjoy my time here and embrace what nature was giving me. I'm not sure about the plan, but I want to look ready to, I don't know, show that I really want to go. Because I feel like people don't feel very comfortable going with that much waves. And I don't want to say like, I want to go and I don't want to push because it can be dangerous. But I want to show that I'm ready, so if there's any chance, we just go. 
Luckily, I had all the toys I need to have fun and explore. It didn't take very long to realize that I was trapped in a bay. Maybe for a day, maybe for two days. Who knows? It was a mix of frustration, expectations, and hope for the next days. At one point, this swell was going to have to go down. But the wind was here, and I found my way to have fun while waiting. For a few days, I had a lot of teas, coffees, crepes, and spent a lot of time with Elena. This is Elena. This is her mother. This is her father. This is her grandfather. This is her grandmother. And this is her big family. They all live here. I stayed in the water the maximum I could in every possible condition. I didn't want to waste even a second of good wind. There's something magical about being by yourself in a place like this. The sun looks bigger and the ocean feels deeper and more alive. And I feel small. I also had a lot of time to play with the goats, to learn about the natural products they have here, <laughs> and their way to make bread. I was right about the waves going down at one point, but what I didn't know was that the wind was also leaving with the swell. She's back, she goes. At this point, I was even more sure about what I always say. The wind is more than a passion, it's a bridge. To connect to people, to cultures, to learn. The wind came back and I 
finally had a chance to put my kite in the air. What a feeling! Last day of the trip. The swell and wind are promising, and the boats can finally get to the waves. As the tide was too high, I had to wait for the right conditions. I waited at the beach, I waited at the boat, they said the conditions never came and it was not a good day, but I decided to go anyway. Not the right conditions, but for sure the best decision. Seems like I'll have to come back. Eu não tenho conexão na eletricidade aqui. Mas o que ele tá olhando no telefone dele? Tá <risos> ok? Será que ela tá uma tira? Ai! Pronto! 
think the car is coming? <laughs>